वेलकम बैक गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ ग्लोबल हेल्थ कंसर्न आई एम योर होस्ट सुमन भट्टाचार्य ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ शोमुस बायोलॉजी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंजीना पेक्टोरिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज एंजीना पेक्टोरिस एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एंजीना पेक्टोरिस हाउ दिस डिजीज एक्चुअली ऑकर्ड नाउ वी नो दैट एंजीना इज अ हार्ट प्रॉब्लम इट इज प्रॉब्लम विद योर कोरोनरी सर्कुलेशन सिस्टम uh due to the pro- due to any kind of blood plaque or any kind of blood clotting in your coronary artery it uh reduces the supply of oxygenated blood into your heart as a result heart has immense chest pain now in this video we'll be talking about the symptoms of uh, angina pectoris okay so let's begin now the clinical symptoms of angina pectoris can be divided into several parts for example Uh, patient's hysteria is uh, one of the most important symptoms people usually look for it's always a golden standard people always say because history and the, and the clinical history sounds to be most important for any any doctor any medical expert all the time because it is telling some important insight about the disease to the person second thing is the retrosternal pain because you know retrosternal pain pain is actually associated this is the retrosternal pain that is the typical character of angina so you need to look for that dyspnea is another important thing ischemia is another important thing is that nausea and vomiting are associated if you are having angina in most of the situation arrhythmia is another situation restlessness will be associated because imagine if your uh, heart receives less blood your heart will pump more you have immense chest pain which is related with dyspnea retrosternal pain and all this thing pains radiating from your heart throughout your left hand and all these regions restlessness will occur because your muscles are receiving less oxygen due to the low blood flow and that's why it's called restlessness and and any kind of divine sign are the symptoms for that purpose and and usually uh, may this this symptoms and some of the symptoms like chest pain and dyspnea may be associated with some other major diseases and infections also of your body but uh, if some of those pains are uh, eased after taking nitrates or after taking calcium uh, channel inhibitors you should be sure you can be confirmed that whatever is uh, you are having is a type of angina Now what are the risk factors that we are talking about with angina you know there are certain risk factors we always need to take care of using angina because in angina there is a problem of uh, the the vessel contraction due to vessel contract not contraction actually uh, blockage due to any kind of plaque formation or blood clotting or something like that so if you are having a cholesterol high uh, percentage of cholesterol present in your body that can cause some problem and if you are having certain other uh, diseases or genetic disorders malfunctions of your body uh, that can also uh, cause problems atherosclerosis can make your situation worse so there are certain risk factors like hi- hypertension because suppose you are having that blockage of uh, into your coronary artery and blood flow is not firm so it creates huge pressure of blood in your artery so still if you are having hypertension throughout the time it can create more pressure and coronary artery ultimately ruptures it can cause a heart attack instantly second thing is obesity which is also risk factor obesity is risk factor for all uh, many major diseases because if you are having obese you are having more cholesterol in your blood if you are having more amount of fat uh, unsaturated fat uh, actually saturated fat in your blood which are bad so for that those bad fats can create certain problems the receptors can be problematic so that can creates uh this situations more worse hyperglycemia is another thing so you need to check uh, constantly if you are having angina or any kind of angina symptoms in throughout your uh, history you should check uh, for uh, the glucose level of your blood throughout the time because more glucose level can create some problem hyperlipidemia is another problems because if you are having more lipids present in your blood that can also create problem that i have told you because it can create more construction uh, contraction actually then asculation is uh, is another risk factor 